Hi, boys and girls, it's Miss Kelly, and we're gonna have our math and numbers lesson right now. And last week, we were learning a song, a counting song, called This Old Man, and he counted all the way up to 10. And it said, this old man, he played one, he played knick-knack on my thumb. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. So I thought Sparky would like to play along with us with this song. Here's Sparky Dog. Actually, it looks like Sparky Bunny. He dressed up for Easter yesterday. You see his bunny ears? Cute, Sparky. And the song talks about giving the dog a bone. Well, we know Sparky Dog loves bones. So I thought that we could give him a bone every time we hear that in our song. And then we'll see how many bones we end up with for Sparky at the end of the song. So let's listen to our song. It's number 11. Turn up your listening ears. Here we go. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb. With a knick-knack paddy-whack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played two. He played knick-knack on my shoe. With a knick-knack paddy-whack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played three, he played knick-knack on my knee with a knick-knack paddy-whack, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. This old man, he played four, he played knick-knack on my door with a knick-knack paddy-whack, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. This old man, he played five, he played knick-knack on my hide with a knick-knack paddy-whack, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. This old man, he played six, he played knick-knack with my sticks with a knick-knack paddy-whack, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. This old man, he played seven, he played knick-knack up to heaven with a knick-knack paddy-whack, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. This old man, he played eight, he played knick-knack on my gate with a knick-knack paddy-whack, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. This old man, he played nine, he played knick-knack, played it fine with a knick-knack paddy-whack, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. This old man, he played ten, he played knick-knack once again with a knick-knack paddy-whack, give the dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. Dog, he has so many bones now. Sparky, let's see how many bones you have. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has ten bones now, Sparky Dog, Sparky Bunny. Enjoy those bones. And then we also have the book. Now this book might have a little bit of different words in it. Let's see. This Old Man by Pam Adams. Let's see how this book goes. This old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my drum. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. So he has a drum that he plays for number one. This old man, he played two. He played knick-knack on my shoe with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. So on a shoe, oh, and this has some math. One plus one equals two. This old man, he played three. He played knick-knack on my knee with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. So he's playing on the knee. Oh, and I see the other ones from one and two. I see the drum and the shoe and now the knee for three. And I think there's some math here. One plus two equals 
three. That's right. This old man, he played four. He played knick-knack on my door with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. So I see the math up here. Three plus one equals four. That's our number, four. Two plus two equals four. Oh, there's a couple different ways to get to four. And I see all the pictures that we already had in each of these circles. The shoe, the shoe, the knee, the drum, the door. This little man, he played five. He played knick-knack on my hive with a knick-knack paddywhack. Give the dog a bone. This little man came rolling home. So this was four plus one equals five. Yep, that's our number for this page. Three plus two equals five. Mm, what's this one down here? Oh, this is a big math. One plus two plus two more equals five. That's right. And here's all the cutouts of what we've done already. You see them? And the next page. Can we tell what this one's going to be about? I think it's about number six. This old man, he played six. He played knick-knack on my bricks. Oh, this one says bricks. Our song said sticks. But it still rhymes, bricks and sticks and six. With a knick-knack paddywhack, give the dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. So four plus two equals six. Three plus three equals six. One plus five equals six. Lots of ways to get to six. And what's coming up next? Oh, all the numbers we've done so far. And we followed them in order. Oh, and here's a dog like Sparky Dog. He's wanting to get to the bone just like our Sparky wanted the bones. So he starts out with one, two, hmm, five. Nope, he doesn't stop there. He goes up to the three. Then he goes over to the four. Then he goes to the five. And then the six. And he went in number order, so his prize is the bone. He got to keep the bone. So that was a different way of doing our This Old Man song. We got to do it with the book, and this book went up to six. So let's see what else we have for today. Sparky has all of those bones up there. Let's see if you can hold on to them, Sparky, while I move our poster. And here we have our number line. So today when you do your math paper, it's gonna be page 129. And there's lots of groups of things to count and circle the groups that are more than, circle the groups that are less than, circle the correct number after you count the objects. On the back, there's a number line. So your mommy or daddy, or big brother or sister, they can call out a number for you and then you get to find it on the number line and circle it. Kind of like what Miss Kelly could do right here. I could show you how to do that. So if my teacher says, can you look at the number line and circle the number that comes after seven? The number that is bigger than seven, but smaller than nine. Hmm. So I'm gonna find the seven and I know it's bigger than seven. So I'm going to go to the right. It's bigger than seven, but it's smaller than nine. So it has to come before nine. So right there, it's the eight. So I know to circle the eight. I circle the number eight. So you can do that with your number line at home, color the correct number of croissants, and do some dot to dots and circle the correct number that you see in front of the bagels. So I put a dot to dot on the back of our number line today. See if I can get it to turn over for us. Maybe it will still be there. Do we have a dot to dot back here? Yes, I put one right here for us to take a look at. Put our magnets on and our dot to dot 
today has numbers and the smallest number is where we always want to start with a dot dot. So I see the number five, I see one, two, three, four. So the smallest number I see is one. So I'm going to start with the number one. I'm going to go one down to two. And I want to go in number order. So what comes after two? Three. Yeah. So I go over to the three. And then what comes after three? Four. Correct. Right. I go up to four. And then what comes after four? Five. You're right. And I go up to five. Oh, and what does that kind of look like? I think that kind of looks like a house. That could be a house that we made just by following the dots in number order. So you'll get to do that on your paper and find out what this picture is. The picture of something, and if you follow the numbers in order, you'll find out what it is. And you can do that paper today, and then you can also practice writing some numbers today. So let's see if I can practice that with you for a little bit. I'll get our share screen. Let's get that going. We can get it to work. There it is. And we will practice making some numbers. Now it looks like on your paper today, you're gonna to be making maybe some big numbers. So how about we start with practicing the number Five. We'll pick up our big marker and see if we can do a five. Across and down and then around. I am a number five. Oh, do I need that on there? No. Yikes, I had to go find my eraser. Where's my eraser? Gotta get that eraser to work. No problem, I can erase it and I can pick up that marker again and try it again. Across and down and then around. I am a number five. Then how do we make a six? Down and around to make a ball. I am a number six. And seven, walk across and then slant down. Walk across and then slant down. I am a number seven. And then that curvy fun one to make, make an S and curve back up. Make an S and curve back up. Close it. And then make a ball and then slant down. I am a number nine. And then the big number 10. First a stick and then a ball. First a stick and then a ball. And remember with number six, we know it's a six because its ball is down lower. A little number six. The seven is bigger. His ball is up high. He's a bigger number than six. Make a ball and then slant down. I am a number nine. Now on your paper today, what if we tried to make some object groups right up here? And maybe I could pick up a stamp and I could make some stamps here. Uh, that's not my stamp that I wanted. Get the eraser. Go back to the stamps. See if I can get my stamps. Oh, I did. I'm gonna make some stamps here. And you tell me how many stamps I have. And then I'm gonna make another group of stamps. Can I change my stamps to something else? Let's see. No, that's the same thing that I had. Let's try to change it to something else. Come on, stamps. Maybe this will work. Oh, I've got some hearts. Hmm, how many am I gonna have here? 
And I'm going to add another one. Hmm. Do you know how many I have in each group? Let's see if we can count them. One, two, three, four, five. I know that's five because it's in the pattern of five dots that we practice counting a lot. That's a five. How many do we have over here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So this is seven. And how many did we say we had over here? Well, we can just see it. We know that that is a five. So which group has more? Well, we kind of made a number line up here. Our numbers are in order. I see the five. Then I move to the right and I get to the seven. So seven is bigger than five. Seven is more than five. So which group would I circle to be more than? Yes, I would circle the seven group. That is more than five. Okay. So that's something that you can do on your math paper today and you can practice it with just making your own groups of objects and picture things that you draw. Okay, so you practice your math today and then we'll get back together again for our morning meetings and more videos. I'll see you next time. I'm gonna say bye-bye for now.